historically rich city of York to investigate 35 Stonegate, a house well over 700 years old and is claimed to be one of the most haunted houses in the UK. Right now we're just walking around York. Everywhere you go, there is history everywhere. We were on our way to Stonegate, the street where the house is situated. The street is a very short walk away from York Minster and is full of ancient houses. Houses that have been left to shine in their old exteriors. There are also signs of York's dark history littered all over the city. So right now we're at the location, I'm just going to go and take a look around inside now. The current house has been standing since 1482, however the land it sits on has had proven habitation for over 1000 years. For over 200 years, 35 Stonegate was a publishing house. The house was known as the sign of the Bible. John Knowles purchased the house in 1873, as the last owner of the publishing house had died. In 1999, Jonathan Kaner took over the building. When building renovators began work, they had also disturbed the dead, describing it as Piccadilly Circus, as they couldn't move for spectral figures. One of the main spirits to haunt the building goes by the name of Tom. Tom is said to be a tall man who wears nothing but black. He is said to reside in the seance room. Altogether, it is said that there are 14 spirits at the home, one of which is a Georgian lady who has been seen in the dining room, and also a monk in the lantern room. It is popular belief that in the very top bedroom, a woman haunts there. She is still looking for closure over her baby's death. The most common encounter at the home are those of an icy touch from invisible fingers and an eerie screeching sound which comes from the attic. Before we had to head off for our investigation, we decided to go and take a look around York to see what other historical delights it had to offer. So right now, just off High Petergate, we're about to go up to Bootham Bar Wall here, so... Bootham Bar Wall was built in the 14th and 19th centuries. The wall holds some of the oldest stonework dating from the 11th century. The wall complete has been standing since Roman times. It wasn't long before we made our way to the top of the wall. We got surrounded by great views, including one of the Minster. However, the views were soon outlived as we had an investigation to get underway. So 
So right now we're just heading up to the bedrooms right at the top of the house and we want to see what's going on up there. Um, you can hear there is a club next door or a pub or something and there is, as you can hear, music. So let's go lads, right to the top. We begin our investigation off by heading to the top floor bedrooms. Numerous people have reported seeing a dark black shadow in these rooms, including myself earlier in the evening. So right now we're just sent down into the next room, and we're in this room and we're in an EVP session. EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. The highly sensitive microphones allow us to hear within a certain degree of white noise. Within this white noise, spirit voices can be heard on playback. like to point out there's other teams also investigating in here tonight. We are all separated throughout the house. The house is actually quite big so we might be able to hear another team from time to time. If there are any spirits here, please could you make a noise? Just we just want to know that you're here, that's all. Whose bedroom is this? Did you live here long? Is this your bedroom? I've got a friend in the bedroom next to us. Could you please show yourself to him? He doesn't believe it's possible for any spirit forms to live in the material world that we live in. Could you please let him know different? Right now, we're going to go and do an EMF sweep of the two bedrooms that we've been given. The device I'm holding detects electromagnetic energy, something spirits are believed to be made up of. This device also detects fluctuations in temperature. It's also got a REM feature, so if anything disturbs the electromagnetic energy force around this aerial, it'll go off. Well, the reason we put Daniel in the room next door on his own is because he's a skeptic. Um, so, I want him to have an experience while he's here. If there's any spirits in here, please could you walk up to the device in my hand? It won't harm you. It will just tell us it. Is that you? Looks like you tapping then. Or did you move? Did you bend over or anything? Stretch. Right now, I clearly hear what sounds like a tapping sound. You can clearly see that Matt is completely still at the time and Daniel is in another room altogether. We will show both camera angles and enhance the camera's audio. If there's any spirits in here, please could you walk up to the device in my hand? It won't harm you. It will just tell us it. Is that you? It will just tell us it. Is that you? Please you walk up to the device in my hand? It won't harm you. It will just tell us it. It's probably me walking. After fetching no EVPs or any other evidence, we decided to try and communicate in a different way. Where's my hand up, Matt? Where's my hand up? Yeah. Where's it, where's it out? There, is that it? Yeah. It's very quiet right now. Right boys, I think the best course of action now is if we split up. Because more things are going to happen if we split up. Yeah. We're yeah. a group. We're yeah. intimidating. Okay? We need to split up. So right now I'm going off on my own. Just, I'll just show you what I can see. I'll just sit down on this ledge and show you what I can see. I'm going to cover the illuminator up now. 
That's what I can see. There's the millimeter. If there are any spirits here, please could you walk up the stairs, please? Now, just to note for the camera, the recorder is, is playing, and uh, if you didn't hear Ben already, what we will do is we'll be sat here asking questions, and hopefully we won't get some evidence. So, we'll put this recorder back on the table. How many people are in this room? At this exact moment, Daniel and Matt capture an EVP. Unfortunately, we can't work out what it's saying due to background noise and Daniel clicking. We will enhance the recorder's audio so you can hear it better. I've just got the chills on my arm. Very specific to there. Is there any spirits here? Please can you walk up the stairs? Whose was the child? Is there any spirits here? Please could you walk towards that device on the floor? I'm just gonna sit down on the floor now. It won't harm you. This is going very blurry. Could you make a noise please? It's very, I'm just sat on the floor. Can you just let me know you're here, please? After asking for the spirits to make a sound, I get a clear knocking sound from what sounded like the wall on the staircase in front of me. I can't say this is paranormal due to there being other teams in and around the house. However, it sounded very close to me and happened on cue. Dan? Yeah? No. The sound of that club right now is really bad at this spot. It's right through that wall. the bedroom now. So I'm in this bedroom on my own. That we're just in. Guys, yeah. come back in here and we'll do a spirit box session. No, I'm sticking this record, keeping on a bit. Right now, we are just in the second bedroom and we're going to do a spirit box session. Uh, we've got the millimeter down there on the floor as well um, with Rem. So, let's see what happens, boys. If there are any spirits in here, please can you come and communicate with us? We can hear your voice. Can you tell us your name, please?
Is this your bedroom that we're in right now? It's your bedroom, can you just let us know? Is there a gentleman named Tom who haunts his building? If you're here, Tom, can you let us know? I'd just like to explain what the spirit box does. It scans radio frequencies in reverse at a high rate, creating an endless supply of white noise so that spirits can communicate through that white noise. There's no interference whatsoever coming through this. So if anything does come through this and it is over a couple of sweeps, don't know if you two agree, but that would be something that is not radio at all. No. There is nothing coming through. This has been through about seven or eight times, hasn't it? Okay, so let's carry on. Could you please let me know if we are in your room right now? I know I've already asked, but we want to communicate with you. So if this is your room, please can you let us know? Sweep, do you know what I mean by that? No. We're going to go in the next room and keep it going and keep silent if there's anything comes through, okay? Is there any spirits in here? Please can you come and say hi to us? Is this your room? Right now, we captured what sounds like a cry coming through the spirit box. Bearing in mind, we haven't had a single thing come through the spirit box for at least a couple of hours since using it, and certainly no interference. Could this be the female spirit who still grieves over her child's death? Did you hear that? This is your chance of being heard. Can you please speak to us? Just say hi, so we know you're here. From to my amazement, we get the same female cry come from the spirit box for a second time. Are we in the presence of a female spirit? From Are you the spirit of a little girl? Is this your bed? Got your doll there. You got a nice shiny new toy to play with. You want to touch it for us? Give away, man. Are you in here? Can you touch my hand, please? Just let me know you're here. What's that? Sounds like a computer phone. Sounds like it was in this room. Right now, we hear what sounds almost like a computer fan. We can't say this is paranormal, as it could be anything connected to the building. However, later in the night, we will find out that we weren't the only group to hear it. We debunked it as not being a car, due to being on the top level and there being no roads with vehicle access around the building. With no more further evidence, we decided to go and investigate in a different part of the building. 
probably yeah. explained it at some point. I heard that fat in about four mm. or five times. Got a weird feeling in my legs. And literally, a black figure, like a shadow, yeah. went from here. So right now, we're in the mask room, and we've just been speaking to the group that was just in here, and they said there was a lot of shadows and a lot of movement around the centre of the room, so... At this exact moment, something very strange happens. A black mass seems to have passed in front of the camera, causing a brief block of light. You can easily see that Daniel does not cover the illuminator or camera, as we can see the full reflection of the light in the mirror behind me. We also capture this anomaly from our stationary camera. If there are any spirits in here, please can you come and speak to us in this device in my hand? It won't harm you. Is this your room? Right now, we all hear what sounds like footsteps coming from the mirror room. I send Daniel to go and take a look. Is that you tapping? No one in here. We know you have the energy to do things. What was that? Yeah. Through there. There's nobody through there. It's behind me. Can I go and check my check there's no one there? Nobody there? Yeah. We'll check through there. Right now, we hear knocking sounds coming from just outside the door. Matt goes to check but the hallway is completely empty. This was just the beginning of a string of events. We know you have the energy to do things. If you don't want to show yourselves to us, there's a device here on the floor. Did you hear that? Oh, did you hear that? Well, the dog show you on it. No, I was in the window. Right now, we hear a very loud tapping sound coming from the window. However, we soon found the real culprit. I think I'm over it. Just... Yeah, look, look here. It's a pigeon. Repeat after me. Did you hear? Looking. Is there anybody outside now? No. 
Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. That was a tapping on that door, wasn't it? Right after I ask the spirits to copy me knocking, we get a response. The sound is coming from the wall behind me. Matt goes out to see if anyone is there and finds nobody. What was that? What was that? Thank you. Would you please make that tapping sound again? Just so we know it was you. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. No, you are? Not so. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm starting to, I'm starting to shake now. You think you're scared? No, no, I'm, I'm just... I feel, I feel like I could do upstairs as well. I'm just shaking. Why? I don't know. I just saw something there. There. Something's just come past, something's just passed through here. That's the shadows they're talking about. I just saw something pass through here. Right after I saw a shadow figure move across the room, all activity came to a halt. So we decided to move on to our next room. So right now we are in the living room. Uh, we've got Matt still here, Dan on camera still. Um, we're about to do an EVP session. But first we're going to try and get some general things to happen first. So, you let us know you're here, please. What's happening over there? What's that? It's a fireplace. I think I just saw a shadow. Get that camera? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like it would run. I went past the fireplace. Well, I just saw a light by the fireplace. As you can clearly see, Daniel has in fact caught three or four shadows, which do appear to be running around the room. Unfortunately, on further analysis, I discovered that the two mirrors in the room, which hang directly opposite each other, were flooding the room with reflected infrared light. This caused me and Matt to project shadows. This also explains why we can see them on the camera, but not with our own eyes. If there are any spirits in here, please can you speak to us through his device? It won't harm you. Can you give us a name, please? hasn't really brought anything to us tonight, has it? Nothing. It's not. When you look at other episodes and things we do, the spirit box works amazing, but on this particular location, we're not getting anything with it. Which is a real shame, because it's the best tool we have to communicate with. Any spirits in here? Please can you do something for us? Please come and say hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? Right at this very moment, I saw something quite spectacular. I saw a shadow person run right past the doorway. I can only describe it as being the size of a child and moving in a fast high frequency. Unfortunately, our night vision cameras were unable to pick it up. I immediately head over to the area to try and make contact. I just saw you. Can you stand in front of this device for me please? Whoa. What? 
out of focus. I'm not here to harm you. I was sat here, yeah? Yeah. You were sat there, yeah. I was sat there. I was looking at that door for ages, yeah? Yeah. I was looking at that door for ages, and literally, a black figure, like a shadow, yeah. went from here, like that, it was kind of hunched over. It was kind of like, like that. But it kind of, it was really fast. But I saw it literally move across that doorway. After failing to make any contact, we decided to have one last try before we left for the seance room. It's not here. Can you hear that? Yeah. You can clearly hear the floorboards creaking around the door. I quickly go to inspect the noise, thinking that somebody is out on the landing. When I get outside, no one is there. I also noticed that the floorboards don't creak unless you are in the room. Can you hear that? Yeah. Was that you just walking on the floorboards? John knows, are you in this building with us? Let us know, please. John, did I see you walking across the door? Was that you? Tell me why this house was a Bible house. What happens to us when we die? After getting no more responses or noises, we decided it was time to head to our final location, the seance room. On our way to the seance room, we bumped into a couple of members of another highly respectable paranormal group who had had similar experiences in the same rooms as us. Up in the top bedroom, did you like, and like got the, the dryer here? You like, as if you put your hand under it. Mm. Like a fan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, say the stairs are here, you come up there, yeah. there's a chair in that corner behind there. Yes. Sorry, we explained it at some point. I heard that fat about four mm. or five times. Is that you, Tom? Is it you making the lights flash? There's something on my legs right now. I've got a weird feeling in my legs. Like that, and it's like a pressing. 
one of the other teams told us that the Ouija board went flying across the table. Could you do that again for us, please? Show us what you can do. Someone's knock on the wall, then. You must bear in mind that we are alone on the highest floor that we can access and there is no other teams in the area. We heard knocking which is coming off the wooden panels in the room we are in. In just a few minutes, we will get even more knocking sounds. If there is someone in this room, please may you turn off the lights. Turn them back on again, please. Whoa. It doesn't have to turn them on, either. Turn them on, please. Hey, hey, there we go. There we go. And that's apparently quite a highly reported thing that happens in this room. People who watch the webcams frequently at home report that. Something just blew in my f***ing ear. Something just knocked as well, did you hear that? Can you turn the light out again, please? And could you turn it back on again, please? Just so we know it's you. Someone knocking. Is that behind you, Matt? Yeah. What's behind Matt? There's no other rooms, is there? No. Could you knock again, please? There. Cheery. This side, this side, this time. There. It's moving around us. Right after the lights switch on and off unexplainably, we hear even more knocking. This time, it appears to work its way around the room. Could you knock again, please? There. Cheery. This side, this side, this time. There. It's moving around us. <laughs> 